Hey everyone, so recently I received my OVS Mamba 3 rooftop tent and I wanted to do a quick unboxing and overview video of what it's like when it arrives at your door. As you can see this tent was made earlier this year in April in China. Um, it came packaged pretty well with no dents or dings and was dropped off by Estes. I'm located in Southern California and it took about four days to show up to my house. I realized after I cut all the straps and tape that the box was upside down and I needed my brother's help to help me flip it over right side up. Upon unboxing, we can see that there are thick cardboard cutouts that are cut out around the struts to keep the tent nice and secure from moving during shipment. At the front of the tent, there are three large hinges. For the latches, they don't actually use a normal key, but rather a large Allen to unlock and lock them. This bungee here helps to keep the tent inside when closing it up. Inside the tent, you got all the gear that comes with it. And that includes the rainfly rods here, which help support the rainfly, keep it open. This is a big bag of hardware, mounting hardware, stuff like that. You've got your user manual installation guide there. Uh, these are the brackets that mount the uh, bars that go on top of the tent. And these are the cargo bars that go on top. And you get two of them with your tent. Uh, here's the ladder. It comes in a bag, which is kind of nice. Um, I've seen and heard other people complain that uh, the ladder can be dirty sometimes when you throw it back in your tent and there'll be dust all over the place, so that can kind of help with that. Um, it looks like you get two shoe bags that attach into the railings of the tent, which is nice. And also it looks like maybe some additional weather sealing as well. Some weather strips here. Up top you got a velcro storage pouch you can move around as you like. Um, there's also two storage pouches on the side. Here's the mattress, a quick look at it. Um, I'll show later in the video just how much it measures up to be anti-condensation mat and the aluminum flooring. There's also the prop rod in the corner which I'll also demonstrate later as well. So here's a quick look at how the prop rod uh, can help keep the tent open. 
Um, if you have a little bit heavier gear up top on the cargo bars with your tent open, just to help keep it up uh, so it doesn't come closing down on you at night. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but there's also a little tab right there where the rod secures in. Um, and it also helps to keep the mattress uh, a little bit more flat on that side as well. storage pouches um, on each side this is also that's a little loop to throw a bungee in between to help also close the tent easier so you're not fighting with it um, also you got these little zippers here which help with ventilation uh, there's one on each side which is pretty nice So now we're going to take a look at how thick the mattress is. According to their website, it shows that the mattress is two inches thick and it's a high density foam. Um, according to my measurements, it looks to be about two and a half, which is pretty decent. And the anti-condensation mat on their website is listed as three quarters of an inch thick. And here it's, it's about an inch, so give or take. And this is just like a quick little overview of what it looks like all zipped up inside. Um, in this video here, I'm currently underneath like a carport, so this is not direct sunlight. But still, it keeps it pretty dark inside, which is nice. Alrighty, so here's an overview of how the latch system works. They give you this big Allen key, and it's just a simple quarter turn to lock and unlock it. The latch seems to be pretty beefy in design and hopefully it should hold up for years to come. Here's just a final little overview of everything that's included with your tent. Uh, these seem to be some weather stripping here. Uh, you got your two shoe bags here. These are the storage rack brackets that mount to the side of the tent. Um, and these do attach to your storage racks here. There's two of them. Here are your rain fly rods. Um, here's the bag earlier that has all the hardware and mounting equipment and then last but not least is the ladder.